drive to right. Takes a three. Touchdown, 49ers. Hurry! Steve, off, off topic, but I know you're outspoken about the issue with just another shooting. Um, what's it going to take for this problem to, to get solved? Uh, wow, tough question. Um, I have my thoughts. Um, you know, first, I, I, I want to just express my condolences to the people involved, the victims, the survivors. Um, people directly affected. It's just awful. Um, and that's the prevailing sentiment, I think, um, from all of us today. And, um, you know, to, to solve it, uh, it's, it's um, you know, I, I think we almost have to look at it like a public health issue. You know, I think too often we get caught up in political rhetoric, um, you know, Second Amendment rights, um, NRA stuff. Um, we have to look at this as uh, it has nothing to do with partisanship or political party. This has got to be a public safety issue, public health issue. Um, I read a great article today that talked about comparing this to um, the automobile industry. Um, apparently in the 1950s, about nine or ten times more people then died in auto wrecks than die right now. Um, so what changed over 70 years? Well, um, safety measures, right? Speed limits, um, um, you know, auto regulation, seat belts, car seats, um, you know, driver's license, um, you know, registration and making sure people uh, deserve to drive. I mean, all these things are just safety issues. And I think we have to somehow get our government to um, cut through all the crap and, and get right to the, the point, the point of fact, which is safety, which means, um, you know, a lot of, a lot of things that we can do without taking away people's Second Amendment rights. You, you, let's do the sensible thing, um, but our government has to lead the way, and they can't um, just uh, cave in to the NRA just because the NRA wants to make money. They have to put people's safety and health over the interests of uh, the gun lobby and the, and the gun industry. So it doesn't seem like it would be that far of a stretch, but for whatever reason, we're paralyzed and we, uh, we're unable to, to do anything to protect our citizens, and it's, uh, it's disgusting and it's a shame.